What is up, everybody? Welcome to Horror Movie Hustle. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing The Clovich Killer from 2018. All right, let's get into a quick synopsis, and then we'll get into the review. A picture-perfect family is torn apart after Tyler finds disturbing images in his father's possession. He begins to suspect that the man he trusts most in the world may be responsible for the murder of 13 girls 10 years prior. I'm a big fan of serial killer and character study type of films, and uh, true crime as well, and I really enjoy this one. This isn't based on a true story, but with this kind of subject matter, it has that kind of like realistic feel to it, most definitely. It also kind of strays away from the traditional character study narrative, but still has lots of aspects of that throughout, which I really did enjoy. It goes in a bit of a different direction, though. Not near as graphic or unsettling as something like The House That Jack Built or uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. There's definitely some violent moments throughout, but this one's more about the story as a whole rather than the actual murder scenes and whatnot. It plays well on the mysterious aspects rather than like straight up shock value, which is different and pretty cool. I like the way the past killings are explained throughout rather than just showing us flashbacks and stuff like that. Great use of exposition here for sure. For me, that adds a certain kind of charm that a lot of serial killer flicks lack in my opinion. The contrast of the setting to the story is really interesting here as well. There's a lot of religious tones concerning the town and the characters with that heavy contrast of the serial killer story intertwined. It's like the whole under the surface aspect that works wonderfully for me. The cast is great here, and I really enjoy the chemistry between our younger leads, but Dylan McDermott really steals the show with a super creepy performance in this one. He plays the corny dad character perfectly, along with like the unnerving serial killer aspect throughout. I really enjoy him in American Horror Story. I'm a pretty big fan of that series, and it was really cool to see him uh, here delivering another solid performance with Clove Hitch. There's a few suspenseful moments in this that really pull you in. That, along with a solid story and a well-developed plot, really helped to win me over with this one. There's some scenes that'll get you yelling at your TV, and that kind of stuff is always super effective for me. I'm also a huge fan of slow burn horror stuff, and this one definitely has that vibe as well. The atmosphere is great. Very contrasty, like I mentioned before. We have that wholesome, small-town dynamic. The mysterious aspects add a ton to the contrast, and I really enjoy that here for sure. It has a beautifully dry yet warm color palette, and the cinematography is wonderful as well. Very smooth and still for the most part. And for me, that kind of thing adds a lot to like the tension in flicks like this. It's a really beautiful film to look at, and that adds a lot for me. I'm big on atmospheric stuff, so that's an important aspect for me, most definitely. All in all, I really enjoyed this one, and I'd highly recommend it if you're a fan of like true crime kind of stuff, serial killer stories, character studies, stuff like that. I feel like this one kind of flew under the radar and didn't receive a lot of attention that I think it deserves, so I figured I'd drop this review for y'all to check out. But I think that's going to do it for the review. Don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe here on YouTube for more reviews and whatnot. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next time.